Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on describing a reflection in a diagonal line. Now in the previous video on describing a reflection in a horizontal or vertical line, we first identified where the line of reflection was and then we gave the equation of it. So let's try and identify this line of reflection first. Do you remember I had approach of picking a point on one of the shapes and the equivalent point on the other shape? We can see this is the pointy bit here, that's the pointy bit here. And then if you go halfway between these, so if you draw this line here, halfway between them would be this point here, wouldn't it? If we go in one and a half squares diagonally, we can see it's here. And similarly, if we put this right angle here and this right angle here, and we go halfway between them, let's just use our fingers, one, two, and then you can see it's here. Then we can join these points together to get the line of reflection. And it should visually look right, and it does. Look, can you see, if this is a line of reflection, this shape A is reflecting over like that, flipping over to get B. It just looks right. And generally, if it's a diagonal line in an exam question, it tends to be a line that goes through the origin, and it either goes from northwest to southeast, or from southwest to northeast. Now, there's two particular diagonal lines that's worth remembering off by heart. If you have a diagonal line like this, it has equation y equals x. And if you have a diagonal line like this, it has equation y equals minus x. And if you look at my videos on straight line graphs, you'll see why this is. Now we can see it's a line of this kind here. So this equation is y equals minus x. And the reason is, is because if I was to pick any point on this line of reflection, it's saying that the y value is the negative of the x value. y is minus whatever x is. And indeed, look, if we look at the coordinate, that's 3 minus 3, we can see the y value is negative of whatever the x value is. So that does work. So now we just need to describe it. You get the first mark in an exam for saying what kind of transformation it is. So we say it's a reflection, one mark for that. And then you say in the line with equation. And then you give that equation, which we said was y is equal to minus x. So that is the answer.